You're watching CES Live, powered by Ustream.tv, the most powerful way to stream live video, and by NewTek, makers of the TriCaster family of broadcast and streaming systems. And now, CES Live. Hey guys, welcome back to our continuing coverage of CES 2014 from Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm John P. And I'm Daniel Rubino from Windows Phone Central. We've got a lot of uh, exciting guests today. Yes, we do. Very excited about this guest. Well, you know, for those, you know, there, there are a lot of people, there are a lot of photography fans out there. Sure. And sometimes people like to take sides. It's true. I'm not one of them. <laughs> but if you are one of those people who likes to take sides, with Nikon, you're going to be very excited. <laughs> we've already got people. We've got a few fans here. We're very excited yeah. because we've got Zurab here with new Nikon cameras. That's right. And <laughs> first of all, thank you, John, for having me here. We're yeah. indeed very excited to be here at CS 2014, and we've been participating every year since it's been absorbed, uh, since PMA has been absorbed by CES, and we've been using it as a platform to announce many new exciting products. This year is no exception at all, and we have a whole lot of new products. Too many to even cover yeah, in this always. interview. Always yeah. a good problem yeah. to have. Yeah. But you brought a couple with you. Yeah, I brought a couple just not to overload you yeah. with all them. <laughs> let me but just let me just make the comment that I, I love Nikon, I love Canon. We there's different pieces of each brand that I love. There's one particular Nikon that I have just an absolute love affair with. It's actually the P well, now the 7800, yep. the, the P7000 sure. and up, but now the P7800. I love, love, love that little pocket-sized camera. Yep. I think if I could only own a single camera, That'd be it. That, that's the one. Excellent and it choice. Is an icon. And you're not the only one in yeah, loving this camera. It's a great one. It's a popular camera. Yeah. And for a good reason. Yeah, many good reasons. Many good reasons, yeah. that's right. So you've got a couple of other ones here. That one looks like a little DSLR that's to me. That's correct. And yeah. then that looks kind of an all-in-one. It looks like a bridge camera. Yeah, that's let's, what it is. let's chat about them. What have you got? Okay, well, first of all, these are not the only products. We actually launched a whole bunch of them. From Coolpix range, which is our compact camera range, we launched right. nine cameras, a little bit for everyone. Nine so new cameras? Correct. Wow. wow. And that's, you know, from a very entry, low budget budget cameras up to bridge cameras and high functionality cameras. We have also launched the entry level, very popular line, D3300 DSLR, and that comes with a brand new 1855 kit lens, probably our most popular sure. lens in sales. But we didn't stop there, we're also announcing another new lens, 35 1.8, which is an enthusiast wow. lens. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you, you yeah, know I'm, what I'm talking about. I'm a glass about. collector. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you know. <laughs> and me as a Blends product manager, yeah. it's yeah. one of the most exciting products that I brought. And apart from that, we're also making a development announcement of our flagship D4S camera. Oh, so there's the a little guy. bit for right, everyone. Right, right. Yeah. Well, we I know we don't have a D4S here. No, unfortunately not yet. But what can <laughs> what can you tell us about what's coming in the D4S for those who the D? T let's explain the D4. That body is the big. Pro, correct, yeah. I mean, like, this is the one that pros yeah. take out wars. and shoot. Right, yeah, right, yeah, correct. And yeah. that, that's pretty much where it goes. Yeah. yeah. Wars it and does. sports arenas. Sports, sure. yeah, yeah. That's the playground Battles. of the camera. Yeah. So what kind of stuff is, is coming new on that there one? There is going to be many improvements in D4S, but as we're developing the cameras, we don't want to disclose too okay. much information un like, until we're sure. sure that everything works as we want it to work. So, Fair enough. But there are two things I can tell you. Okay. There will be an improvement in image processing engine. Okay. Okay. That means that everyone can expect much better image quality. And I think knowing what the image quality D4 provides already, already. it will sure. just blow your mind. Okay. That's one thing. Another thing that we will see is improvement in autofocus system. Okay. It's going to be really exciting. Okay. You will just wait and see. But All right. as autofocus is very important for our sports photographers. Sure, which it's got to be fast. Yeah. Right, right. And not only fast, there are many other things. Sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, cool. Excellent. So let's talk about the ones we do have here right in yeah. front of us. Uh, I mean, as I said, we have um, nine Coolpix cameras, so I'm not going to discriminate. Mm -hmm. I just grabbed the first one yeah. that was okay. at hand. Um, I mean, uh, various improvements in specs. Obviously, there is improvements in specs, there's improvements in lenses, in zoom ratio, et cetera, et cetera. But not to overload you with the information, everybody can find it in uh -huh. the websites. I will just tell you some key features that are really sure. new to Coolpix range. Um, one of the things that we've done is we have uh, improved digital zoom. Okay. 
As you know, digital zoom was not sure. really considered to be a serious feature. It was kind of like cutting corners. Yep. Not anymore. We now have something called digital fine zoom. Okay. What that means that digital zoom all of a sudden became useful because while you are uh, transitioning from optical to digital, right. the camera kicks in a smart algorithm where it starts locally adjusting contrast and noise. So okay. not across the image, but separating highlight shadows, different colors, etc. So you get excellent final image quality without the need to crop in post-production. Gotcha. Interesting. Another thing that we've done, because imagine this camera has a native 34 times zoom. Yeah, I was going to say, with that particular yeah, one, why would you ever need to get into digital zoom? You know, that thing's got a huge zoom lens on it, right? Yeah, well, some people like to get as close yeah, as actually. possible sure. without walking. Okay. They just want to get across the river and take a <laughs> portrait of somebody on that side. Yeah. Now you can do that, but the problem becomes a camera shake because at the thousand plus millimeters, a touch of a shutter button will change your framing. So what we've done is now we have something called hybrid VR. You okay. know we've had VR for sure, ages. Of course. And we had optical VR. Yep. But now we have hybrid, which combines optical with sensor VR. Huh. And that works much better and compensates for camera shake, shake in every possible direction. So you can zoom in at that thousand millimeters yeah. and take really sharp and well composed image. That's another improvement. And other than that, there's a whole bunch of things like uh, in-camera image editing, uh, BSI CMOS sensors being What used. kind of editing can you do? Like cropping? Can you do? No, you can do more creative stuff. Oh. Uh, we have done something that is, you know, a little bit of fun. You can apply makeup to faces. <laughs> and first, when I heard about it, I had to laugh. Uh -huh. But when right. I've seen it, it's amazing. You can almost do like a magazine style makeup application to a simple plain face. Wow. Yeah, it's just fun for some of our consumers. Um, and of course, not to forget, one of the main features, nothing new, but Wi-Fi. As you know, sure. everything is becoming connected, and yeah, you can see yeah. it all over the CES. Cars, washing machine, everything is becoming connected. So are our cameras. We're actually aiming in 2014 to have at least 50% of Coolpix range Wi-Fi connected. And so, and Wi-Fi can connect up to various social networks and that kind of thing? Or? Uh, actually, Wi-Fi connects to your smart device. Okay. And as you know, a smart device has sure. limitless possibilities. So rather than treating it as a threat, as many people think, Right, right we are actually taking advantage of it. Yep. You are seamlessly, without making any complicated uh, settings, transferring images from your camera onto your smart device. Le wait, let me make sure I understand this. <laughs> like, I could pull out that camera because <laughs> my phone obviously has a, a, a lens about, I can't even make a, you know, smaller than my fingernail. I could, I could take a picture with that, it will wirelessly go into my Android phone. Automatically. Where I could share it through Google Plus. Correct. And you can even do the pre-editing, add some creative filters. On I mean, the camera, then take on it the into the or, phone or and or do it there. Or on a party apps yep. on your phone. As yep. you know, there is wealth of apps out there. And we're using it because you know we can't suit every possible taste. Sure. Because as many people, as many tastes. So what we're trying to do is give people opportunity to use those apps to be creative, and then whether you're using Google Plus or other social network, or simply want to save your photos to show it to your family later on a bigger screen on your smart device, there it you is. can do it easily. Quick uh, question from Cruisin' Classic. I love shooting in low light and shooting concert, uh, and shooting concert that the light is all over. Is there anything new in the way of ISO range for us? Oh, good question, because that actually brings uh, me to segue, this huh? camera. <laughs> okay. um, D3300, it now goes to incredible native 12,600 ISO. Wow. If that's not enough, which is I think plenty enough, <laughs> you can yeah. push it to 25,600. That is incredible. Yeah. Sure. And as you know, and as you, our cameras have proven, you can get pretty clean results With at yeah. high ISO. So I would encourage your reader uh -huh. or your viewer uh -huh. to go ahead and Give it a use try. this at the concerts without the reservations. Absolutely. Nice. Okay. Uh, any other big questions that you could come up with? What do you guys see as the big challenge and the big new wave in 2014? Well, the camera it, industry has changed a lot over the yeah, last years. Yeah, it is you know? changing. And it's like DSLRs are high end. You're making them now for consumers. Yeah, so. it is changing. I yeah. mean, first of all, the uh, digital technology. This is not news. It became accessible to 
wider market and for us it's only good news. I mean, the yeah. more people can use better cameras, right. I mean, even as a, as a viewer, I'm more pleased to see good quality sure. uh, images on the internet, which is, the, of course, the most popular platform for sharing. And, you know, for, for us, the challenge is to constantly improve these cameras, and we're doing that. Apart from that, of course, there's new technologies. There's Wi-Fi, right. nothing new, but believe it or not, we already had Wi-Fi camera a few years ago, right. but we were too early. Yeah. yeah. The right, market right. wasn't even ready for that. Now yeah. they are. Everything is Wi-Fi. And also Wi -Fi the way in which Wi-Fi is implemented, you know, has sure. changed, changed over yeah. time yeah. To yeah. over time too. Yeah. You, because you could you implement it one way and you think, "Oh, this will be useful for people." Mm -hmm. and, and a few people use yeah. it, but yeah. then they come back to you and they're like, "Well, what we really want to be able to do it this way or that way." Correct. Yeah. And yeah. we constantly take that feedback. You know, we have platform to communicate with our users. We constantly have focus groups where we ask them questions how they use cameras, or we observe them, and then we take that feedback and go to R&D and tell them, this is really critical to our users, let's work on it. Yeah. And luckily, I mean, technology constantly evolves, and we will sure. evolve together right. with right. it. Very cool. All right, I got to ask, any plans for a Windows Phone app? I always get asked this question. Uh-huh. For if we can take it with the phone, maybe. Yeah, everybody, everybody supports uh, Android, Android and, and iOS, yeah. but how about Windows phones? Any any apps coming for? At the moment, we don't with have them, them but uh, I mean, Windows as an uh, as a phone operating system, as you know, is fairly new. Sure. And we need to serve as wider audience as possible. Sure. So as we're seeing that the Windows is progressing, and absolutely it's becoming more and more right. popular, right. I think we will be getting there as well. Okay. I mean, at the moment, iOS and Android are covered with our apps. Right, yeah, Windows right. is next. Right, cool. Right. cool. All right. Yes. Well, thanks so much for coming to Thank join you very us. Much. Thank Hope you. you guys enjoy the updates uh, from the Nikon front, and we will be bringing you a lot more updates. So stay tuned. We got more continuing coverage here at CES 2014. Be right back.